Are you sick of Microsoft OneDrive? Are you sick of it constantly begging you to sign in and use it to sync your files? Or if you are signed in using a Microsoft account, which a lot of people are because it's a much nicer way to sync things through all of your devices, but you don't want to use OneDrive because it's annoying and it it always put, takes your shortcuts and puts them on random place on the desktop. Maybe you just don't want to use OneDrive and every time you uninstall it, it just reinstalls itself upon startup because Microsoft really has it as an integrated part of Windows 11 and Windows 10. But today, if you're sick of OneDrive, if you're sick of it showing up, asking you to sign in, sync all your files automatically, because I certainly don't use it. If you never want to have to see it or deal with it ever again, this is how you get rid of it off your machine. And of course, if for some reason you ever want it back later, you can always just reinstall it. Um, but yeah, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is go to our favorite web browser and search for a program called Revo Uninstaller. Now this is just a good program to have because it allows you to uninstall things better than the you know the normal way. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the portable version. It doesn't really matter which one you do, but the portable um, is one that you don't really have to install. It's just an executable, which means you can um, put it on a USB drive and take it anywhere with you. Hence the portable. But if you do, and if you just do the um, free download, you'll actually uninstall it or you'll install it like a typical program. But um, it downloads it as a zip file. So go ahead and open it up inside of File Explorer. Now this is just a good program to in, and extract the files. Um, now this is just a good program to have. I always use it when I uninstall things because it allows you to uninstall things not only using the program's normal uninstaller but also it gets rid of all of the extra files and extra registry entries that it makes that the Windows uninstaller typically misses which can bog down your system and take up space. Um, so this is just a good thing to have anyway. But go ahead and open up the executable file inside of the zip extraction. Um, go ahead, hit OK. And basically, it is going to open up our program. Now, this um, is super easy. So not only can you use it to better uninstall all of your installed programs, you can also use it to uninstall Windows apps, things that you normally wouldn't be able to uninstall, like the camera. I don't know why you'd want to uninstall camera, but you might have a good reason in which case you could just do that um so it's a very powerful tool with what it allows you to do but um go to the installer uninstaller tab and microsoft onedrive will be in here and unlike doing it from the settings app you will actually truly uninstall it this time so um go ahead and click on it um right click and hit uninstall normally um, I would keep this box checked that says make a system restore point before uninstall, but since I'm just doing this on a virtual machine, it doesn't really matter. But if you do this on your actual computer, I just keep that saved in case for whatever reason something goes wrong. Maybe you want to install the wrong app and you need it back and you want to be able to restore back to that point. So I would just leave it on, but um, I'm going to turn it off because I'm in a virtual machine. Go ahead and click continue. And basically it's going to run the program uninstaller itself. You can see down here at the bottom of the screen, it's no longer, well, but when I did this before, it said that OneDrive would no longer start upon startup. But basically, here's where we truly get it off our system for good. You see, it doesn't show up in here anymore because we've uninstalled it, but it's just going to reinstall itself if you don't do this. Um, so here we have scanning mode. So this is just going to scan for leftover files and registry entries, which we can delete permanently. Um, I'm going to go to advanced because it's going to show us literally everything there is. It might take it a second to scan it, but um, if you're just uninstalling a normal program, you probably would just go with safe or moderate. But if you're uninstalling malware, I would definitely go with advanced because you want all that out of your system. So basically what you want to do now, see, this is all the stuff that it's not actually going to uninstall. This is all the stuff that makes it reinstall itself and keep bugging you and stay on your system. Go ahead and check all of the boxes, but only the bold ones. If it's not in bold do not click on it like all this stuff right here we do not want to click those we want to keep that those are critical system folders so do not delete those but click make sure you click all of the bold ones because those are the ones that are related to the program go ahead and click delete and confirm it and then go ahead and click next and you can see it found a few more leftover files and settings so go ahead and select all of those and delete them as well 
we'll click yes. And now we just need to restart our computer. So this is actually, th these are the three that are in use right now and will be deleted once we restart our computer. So I'm going to hit finish and that is literally all you need to do. So I, I'm going to reboot the computer and we will see that it is no longer there. OneDrive is gone from our system. All right, so we here we are back in Windows, and at this point, OneDrive should be completely removed from your computer. So I'm going to go to the File Explorer, and as you can see in File Explorer, we no longer see that stupid OneDrive shortcut. It's just not here anymore. Um, it's If we expand this little tray here, you see there's no OneDrive icon. This is where it would normally be asking you to sign in. If I search for it on the Start menu, it's not going to be there. Um, there is this thing, but this is a blank thing. This is gone. This is for some reason, the shortcut still stayed here, but, um, it's just left over from the one drive that used to exist, but it's not usable. It's not an actual file that can be used. If we go into settings and we go into our apps, it should not be there. If we go into our apps here, you can see that one drive is not here anymore and you never have to worry about reinstalling it. Um, or it it will never uninstall it will never reinstall it by default. If we go into Task Manager, it should not ask us to. It should not be a startup program anymore because normally it starts up by default. You can see OneDrive is completely gone from our system. You are now only using local storage or cloud storage if you've connected to a network, of course. But um, and if for whatever reason, so it's completely gone from our system at this point. There is no trace of OneDrive left. It's never going to bug you again. It's never going to save any files to OneDrive. So that's nice. But let's say for whatever reason, you do want it back. Well, it's actually very easy to get back on your system. We just need to go to the Microsoft Store and search for OneDrive. Well, maybe it would help if I actually click the search box first. And you can see it's literally right here. And you could on it, you could install it and you could put it back on the system and then you could remove it using the same method. But um, yeah, um, as you can see, it's super easy and this works for any program. If, if there's a Windows program like Microsoft Teams or something that you're sick of running by itself without your permission, then you can get rid of that too. But that is how we uninstall OneDrive and remove it from our computer completely. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.